After six this morning, we're sifting through a stack of new evidence against a 13-year-old charged with stabbing a school resource officer last month in Pinellas County. Kenneth Stoltman is also accused of bringing a bag packed with firebombs to class. Our Bill Logan joins us live now in the newsroom. Bill, you've been going through that evidence. What have you found so far? A couple of things, Dia. One, that everyone, seemingly everyone at Carwise Middle School seemed to know about Kenny Stoltman and his being bullied. Everyone but the authorities who didn't know about this kid's being picked on until he was in handcuffs. The other, that this attack was very serious. The words of school resource officer Kenneth Friedland in describing the attack on April 5th are chilling. He is coming at force toward me. I could feel the knife go in, and he immediately draws the knife back out. You can actually hear the officer in the background of this 911 call immediately after that stabbing. Yeah, assailant still nearby? He said he's in yes. handcuffs, right? Yes, he is. Okay, and is there any serious bleeding? Uh, yes, he's bleeding profusely. I'm going to tell you how to stop the bleeding. That tape and these images from school surveillance cameras, part of the information released by Pinellas County, as they get ready to prosecute 13-year-old Kenny Stoltman, an Eagle Scout with an A average. And I didn't know about the bullying either until we've heard it on the news and, and you know, police people are saying there's no bullying, and yet every single kid that gets interviewed at CarWise, and my own son, that I had to pull out of CarWise was bullied. Um, it, it amazes me that everybody's turning a, a blind eye to bullying. A kid who, according to his lawyer, finally snapped. I did take a pro bono, and there are times in a lawyer's life when it's the right thing to do. It's not all about money. Um, in this case, this was the right thing to do. Barry Cohen says Stoltman shouldn't be forgiven, but he should be helped. Hopefully the uh, juvenile justice system will do what it's supposed to. Um, he will have to be uh, dealt with uh, appropriately. And that, according to Cohen, would include treatment for the anger and emotional issues and not being tried as an adult.